New at 9, it is official. The Harris County Democratic Party picked former Mayor Sylvester Turner as the Democratic nominee for the 18th Congressional District seat. It was a very tight vote between Turner and former City Council member Amanda Edwards. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle joined us live now from Wheeler Avenue with that information. Sherman. Yeah, good evening, Anthony. I'm here with the official nominee of the Harris County Democratic Party, former mayor uh, Sylvester Turner. Congratulations. Thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you very much. <laughs> we were just talking. We said that, you know, you had never thought that you'd be back in this driver's seat uh, up until just a month ago. I was planning to start lecturing at Harvard the day after Labor Day. Wow. So uh, but sometimes uh, life throws you an audible and that's what happened here. And uh, look, if I could, if, if I could just make things happen, the congresswoman would still be here serving the 18th congressional district. But um, her passion uh, was at a critical moment in time, um, and I decided to put myself forward to continue her legacy, to continue the work, to um, make sure that the people in the 18th um, don't miss out. Uh, and I'm glad uh, tonight that the precinct judges um, has given me the, have they've given me the opportunity to serve as the nominee. Well, you know, it was pretty tight, and it was something that a lot of people anticipated uh, against the former councilwoman, uh, yeah. Amanda Edwards. You know, I spoke with her briefly. She said that, you know, she feels like there was enough people that voted for her tonight to, to indicate that people wanted a fresh perspective, but you said that right now it was important to focus on experience in the 18th. Well, let me just say, uh, in the last three weeks, we've uh, there have been uh, a lot of people with some tremendous talent. Energy, passion, intellect. Uh, Amanda Edwards is a very smart, sharp person. Uh, and then there were all the other uh, people who put forth. Um, I was a senior statesman in this. Mm -hmm. I take nothing away uh, from any of them. Uh, but we had a critical election cycle. Uh, this was a three week cycle. Right. And all of the voters in the 18 uh, were not going to have an opportunity to vote. Uh, for me, you know, people have voted on me for a number of years. I've been the mayor of the city for eight, state legislator for 27, chair of the U.S. Climate Mayor, so I can go on and on. I'm not a new face, and I think I have the ability on day one uh, to step in to make sure that the resources coming from D.C. continue to flow to the 18th, mm -hmm. and the people who need help right now they don't miss out while somebody is learning the rope over the next two to four years. So now more work starts for you because it's a short period of time. Well, you know, work is, is, is no stranger to me. No, it's not. No. <laughs> um, look, you can't replace the Honorable Sheila Jackson Lee. You can't do it. But you certainly can work to carry on her legacy, the work, and you can be an effective congressperson in D.C. and be boots on the ground in the 18th. Okay. That's, that's, what, that's what I do. And then I've made it clear. I'm the bridge from where we are now to the point in time where the, all of the voters can decide who is the best representative for the 18th going forward for the next 10, 20, 30 years. That's not me. And so I view myself as the bridge. I'm not the interstate that's going to take you all across the country. But at least a bridge. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, the bridge, and my goal is as I serve in... if. If people say yes in November, as I serve, is to do everything I can to help usher in this new generation of talent. Okay. To make sure that I share with them, nurture, mentor, expose, so that whoever steps forward, that they are ready to serve in the tradition of Barbara Jordan All right, well, and Craig Washington and Sheila Jackson Lee. Gotcha. And, uh, and then there'll be an asterisk. Sylvester Turner, the bridge. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see how many voters cross their bridge. Hey. Thank you very much. Thanks. For pleasure. Uh, so he's on the ballot for November. Back to you guys.